हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू यूज द गूगल क्लाउड ट्रांसलेट एपीआई इन ऑर्डर टू बिल्ड अ गूगल ट्रांस ट्रांसलेट काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन वेयर यू यू विल प्रोवाइड द इनपुट टेक्स्ट एंड यू कैन ट्रांसलेट योर टेक्स्ट इन एनी एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ लैंग्वेज फ्रॉम इंग्लिश टू हिंदी और एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ लैंग्वेज सो वी विल बी डूइंग दिस इनसाइड पाइथन थ्री लैंग्वेज एंड लेट मी शो यू द डेमो ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन दैट वी विल बी बिल्डिंग हेयर सो सिंपली ऑन द कमांड लाइन लेट मी रन दिस एप्लीकेशन सो यू विल सी I have statically provided the text here in Hindi, and I am converting this to English here. So you will see this is the English code here, which is en, and we are using this function translate client dot translate, where we are providing the input text and the target language. So if I run this application, you will see now it will. You can see it will return an object which will con contain the translated text in English here. and it will automatically detect the input language which is hindi here so it has provided the two le two letter code which is hi and also it is providing the input as well so this is a simple application where i will telling you how to integrate the google cloud translate api in python and uh, now to follow along with this video i have given the link in the video description of the blog post so here is step by step instruction is given and also the source code is also given this python script so just go to the video description to follow along with the video and download all the source code and now to get started first of all you need to be having a google cloud account here so just search for google cloud console on google go to google.com first of all and uh, you need to search google cloud console and for this you need to be having a fully approved google cloud platform account you need to verify your card here add a credit card and debit card so if you accepted your account will be created so i have already done that so you will see now you need to search you need to go to the marketplace here and the very first thing that you need to do is that inside the search box you need to search for the api which is google translate api and this is the api that we are talking about cloud translation api so make sure that you enable this so click on en enable and it will change to manage so you will see api enabled so after enabling the api you need to create a service account which will interact with the api so now you just need to go to your project here so inside this project here you need to select your project and after that you need to create your uh, google service account so for that you need to go to your project so i am here inside my project so first of all so here we need to go to our let me just see first of all in order to do that you need to install one dependency which is google underscore cloud google dash cloud dash translate so this is a dependency of python which will interact with google api so i have already installed this so you need to install this by using this command so after that i will delete all this so just open your favorite text editor and uh, inside this make app.py file and here we will write our python code so first of all you need to create the service account so for creating the service account you need to go to apis and services and click on dashboard so this will be your dashboard for your project so now you need to go to the third option which is credentials and for this particular api which is google translate api you should be needing the service account so let me delete this service account and and create it from scratch so click on delete and it will delete your service account and now you need to click on create credentials and click on service account to create a new one and you can name it anything of your choice test service account 
and you can provide a short description this is a service account click on create and continue and you need to assign a role this is optional but you can do so role is something how much information that you can access with this service account so i will be selecting owner so this will provide me full access to all the apis and resources so just select owner click continue and then click on done that's it and now guys in order to create in order to download this as a json file what you need to do is that select your uh, this one your service account select this and you need to go to the key section and you need to create a new key which is create new key and you can select two options either p12 or json the recommended one is json so simply create json here click on create and it will automatically download your json file so as it says it contains the private key safe to your computer so it's a very sensitive file so don't share this file with anyone because it contains all your credentials so make sure that you save this file in a secure location so let me copy this inside my working directory so i will paste it here and let me just remain uh, rename it as uh, google uh, key dot json so you can rename it to anything so this i will not show this file so it, this file will be different for you it contains secure information so we will just include it as a security variable so we need to import operating system first of all and then we need to import from google dot google dot cloud we need to import uh, google translate and if you go to the video description uh, we are using the api version 2 so for that specific purpose we need to include version 2 as well so this will be translate only translate version 2 that's it so after that guys you need to use the operating system module and inside this we will set an environment variable with this function here which is in an array we will provide this specific value which is google application credential so this value needs to be same here you cannot rename with a different variable this needs to be same google underscore applications slash credential and uh, this needs to be s as well and here we will provide the full path so r and inside this so as it is there inside the same directory so i will just write the file name which is google key json so if it is present inside another directory will put a complete path to it so the after get setting this environment variable you need to initialize your client so translate client i will call it and this will be translate version 2 and it contains this client constructor client method so after you initialize your client what you need to do is that you need to provide the text whatever text that you need to convert to whichever language you will provide this inside this text variable and this target the language code whichever language did that you need to convert to i will convert to english language so that you can print it on the console as well so many languages can't be printed on the console so i am taking the english language example for illustrating it and then what we need to do is that we need to actually carry out the process which will be translate client and it contains the translate method and it takes three uh, two arguments first is the actual text and then it takes the uh, target language i think this is the tar target language and this needs to be equal to target that's it and now we can print out the output on the console here so we need to provide a text here so that we, you can see this is hindi text here so if i paste it here so this is hindi text here i am converting to english here so if i run this application python name of the file app.py so it will take some time and it will carry out the process here so just wait So it is saying please set google underscore application credentials so i think we have made a mistake here 
so the spelling is not correct so this needs to be credentials so this was the spelling mistake so just correct it if you rename it as a wrong variable it will not work so once again run this so now it will see it will carry out this process here john williamson latham is the captain of new zealand so you can see it has successfully carry out the translation process from hindi language to hindi so you can provide any language code here so it um, as you see google translate supports multiple languages all the languages so you can also cross verify as well using the service so you can have the spanish as well so let me have So you can just use this. So this was a basic example on how to use this Google Cloud Translate API in your Python script using this module. So thanks so much for watching this video. Please like the video, comment the video. And if you want to get all the source code, go to the video description and you can get the source code.